Hey everyone, so it is December, well, December 4th, I should have made this three days ago, but sorry for being late. I am going to be viewing a lot of Christmas stuff and probably going to view a lot of holiday movies too, not just Christmas. I'm going to try to find Kwanzaa, but... Uh, the only, I think the only time they mentioned Kwanzaa was in Futurama, but yeah. I mean, there are probably some good Hanukkah movie, well, um, Hanukkah movies in general out there. Yeah, maybe some good ones and bad holiday movies. Alright, so speaking of a good one, I'm reviewing the Polar Express, Tom Hanks. I remember reading the book on this back when I was in... Was I middle school or high school? I think it was middle school I read the book. Had to do with some assignments on it. Um, then I seen the movie. We watched it and... I noticed that the DVD case doesn't show you what the um, what the characters look like in this movie, and there is a reason for that. The characters look something straight out of the Uncanny Valley. Just the way they look, just it feels wrong the way they are. So, basically, a bunch of kids go on a train to meet Santa. There's a conductor. Now, I think, like, 30 or 40 minutes of the movie is on the train, and the rest of the movie is them exploring the North Pole. There's also a villain uh, that was um, greedy. In the book, there was a villain, and minions were stealing presents. I think the queen dies in the book. Oh, I think I'm on another book. I'm trying to remember. Okay, the book was uh, Spider Evil Ants were Climbing Up the Web to Attack her and End Her Life. Was it the Paul Luke Express or was it some other book? Hmm. I don't know and I don't remember. Huh. Um. Ah, uh, again, I have read a lot of weird books back when I was in middle school. Like, a lot of weird books when I was in middle school. It's kind of hard to remember all of them. The lines blurred. There was a story about a guy who got a boat and he tried to fly the boat on land. He crashed and broke his leg. And another one where a guy's dreaming, his house is floating on a river. And then he sees one of his friends who was also dreaming. Somehow he entered his friend's dream. Then there was another book about a kid who talks to clouds. He made a cloud friend and he teaches a cloud to change shape. And then that cloud told other clouds to change shape. Become like different shapes in the sky so kids can, you know, look at the clouds and imagine what shapes they are. Yeah, my middle school years is weird. The books there was just, oh goodness, um, weird. In a good way. All right, back to the Polo Express. You see that one of the main character there, but you don't see his face, only the back of, only his back. I'm guessing they think if they showed the characters their faces, it would make people afraid to buy the DVD. And, yeah, you have to watch the movie or see trailers to see what they look like. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see, I'll have watch. Again, them being on the train is only like, again, like 30 or 40 minutes of the movie. 
out of a hundred minutes. So it's over an hour. So the rest of the 70 minutes is basically them on the North Pole. Actually, it might be more. I think it might be like 45 minutes. They're on the train going from location to location. They get separated. They have to get back on the train. Uh, let's see who else is who else is in this movie? I know by heart there was a character, uh, Mandoc's characters in the movie. Uh, the guy who voices like um Mandoc from Dexter's Lab on Cartoon Network. Trust me when you know which one he is. You can tell by his voice because, yeah, you you know what you kind of like when Adam Sandler does like a weird. Like, you know when a character is being voiced by Adam Sandler because of his voice. It's a dead giveaway. Mandoc's voice is... Yeah. You, you'll... Trust me, you'll know him. Um... So the movie's good. Uh, the story is amazing. It's based about believing in Santa. Um... So the kid and his younger sister go to see Santa, but the kid's starting not to believe in Santa. He does learn that Santa does exist, and it fills him with hope and wonder. I think in the end he gets, like, a, one of Santa's um bells from his sled. Yet when the adults ring it, they hear nothing because they no longer believe in Santa, but he's able to hear it because magic... Because he believes. Um, do I... I do recommend this movie. It's a Christmas classic. Hmm. Alright, so what will be the next movie I'll review? Uh, the animation style is good. Like, the backgrounds look good. Again, the fact that they don't show any of the characters except for, like, the back. What, what they look like from the back should tell you. Well, you just see a snowman there. Um, the characters, I think they look a bit better than Mars Needs Moms. <coughs> but not much. The characters, they, the human characters, they just, they look wrong. Especially the children. It's just, something's off about them. I, I, I don't know. It's just, they look wrong. Hmm. Anyway, um, so, uh, definitely check out the movie and, Trust me, you'll see, you know what I mean when you watch the movie. You do? See, yeah, the snowman looks eh, weird. But yeah, this is definitely a movie worth watching. It's good. I hope everyone has a wonderful, wonderful day and... Uh, try not to go too crazy with the Christmas shopping for friends, families, or loved ones. Boyfriends, girlfriends, wives, husbands, fiancés, um, soon to be married, whatever. Yeah, whoever you get a Chris, um, holiday gift for, rather be Christmas, Hanukkah. All the other holidays that happened during December. Well, I hope everyone has... Don't go too crazy on the uh, shopping. Speaking of, I still got to get my little sister and mom a Christmas gift. And I really don't want to go to the malls. It's going to be crowded, shoving, and... <sighs> Fun, fun, fun. Hi, hi, everyone. Has a wonderful day. Um, bye.